the beautiful rolling hills of the South Downs in Sussex. Something which I'm about to see from a whole new perspective. And then you've got... Up there. I'll be filming myself while I'm up there, but the most important thing for today is this microphone, which I'll be taking up with me. Why? Tell you what, let's go back to the beginning. If you've ever tried to record sound outside, or even if you've tried making a phone call on a breezy day, you will know that wind is the enemy. Even the slightest breeze causes turbulence on the mic, which you hear as a pretty deafening roar. Now, the best way to solve this problem is to stop the wind from getting to the mic by using a big soft bit of material like this, something which we in the trade call a fluffy or a dougal or a dead cat. The bigger the fluffy, the better the wind is blocked out. But there are times when a large microphone just isn't convenient. Like, for example, when you're doing backflips through a snowy street or travelling at speed over not very much snow. Energy drink maker and extreme sports nuts Red Bull wanted to record their athletes up close and personal. So they asked hearing aid, headphone and microphone designers Jabra to make something small, light and cable free to stick in places where there's no room for a big fluffy. Jabra's research into noise cancellation and sound enhancement goes on here at their headquarters in Copenhagen. And this is where the X-Mic was born. Because they need to test their devices in lots of different audio conditions, they have different rooms with different acoustic characteristics. For example, this is the anechoic chamber, which is completely acoustically dead. This is the reverb chamber where they test how good their noise cancellation is. And this is the wind tunnel, where currently we have a breeze of two metres per second. But if we increase that to eight metres per second, you should start to hear a lot of rumbling on my microphone here. It should be quite unpleasant to listen to. And if we take it all the way up to 15 metres per second, my guess is that you will really struggle to understand what I'm saying on this important microphone here. However, if we switch to the X mic audio, I'm hoping you should still be able to hear what I'm actually saying. All right. This really is maxing out the wind tunnel and even the prototype X mic is struggling, but obviously it's still doing a lot better than our mic. Part of the secret is in the soft, fluffy fabric, part is in the round shape, which reduces turbulence, and part is in the digital signal processing, DSP algorithms, that subtracts the wind noise from the recording as it's being made. What we've done is we've learned through years and years of testing what is wind frequency and what is other sound frequency. And then we set those DSP algorithms to make sure that we block out the frequencies that we believe are wind. What frequency range do we want to block out and what do we want to keep and let through? So the X-Mic Mark I has done OK, but not brilliantly in the wind tunnel. But how will the Mark II do in the wild? Time to test the Jabra X Mic Mark II, designed to reduce wind noise in extreme sports and record high quality audio straight onto this tiny device. I'm pitting it against the best professional mic we have that's even vaguely portable, in that it's cabled to a zoom recorder and all stuffed into my pocket. Exactly what you don't need in extreme sports. And for a more realistic comparison, I'll also record sound on my phone and on my GoPro. Now, all I have to do is run. Run. Run like the wind. Yes! <laughs> ah, wow! So, we're up and the wind is definitely blowing in my face. We're flying at about 25 miles an hour at the moment, so it's time to see what all of the mics sound like. Lovely. Try and put your left knee over your right knee, squeezing it around. Oh, wow. 
Although you can hear my voice on my phone and on the GoPro, the wind noise is pretty intrusive. It would certainly blast out the subtleties that Jabra was specifically asked to capture. So how about our high quality mic with all of its cables versus the relatively small X mic with no cables and onboard recording? So at the moment, I have no idea what these two microphones are actually recording. But what we'll do when you watch this is we will switch from this normal mic to the Jabra X mic. And I'm going to guess that you will instantly hear the difference. You should hear something that's a lot clearer and with very little roar of the wind noise. Yet, yeah, although my voice is pretty clear in both recordings, the background wind is definitely reduced. So much so, in fact, that we can hear Jess all the way behind me, telling me about paragliding in the Himalayas. What is paragliding at 12,000 feet like? Is it a different experience? Yeah, everything's just a bit more full on in the mountains. So the development of the weather and your understanding of the clouds and just loads of amazing birds, huge, massive vultures and the like. Interestingly, the X mic is not going on general sale. Instead, Jabra are using it as R&D for their existing, more down-to-earth products. If we can get a microphone to work at 100 kilometres an hour down a ski slope, you can bet that uh, in an office, in a noisy office, you can make a very good phone call without any noise disturbances. Well, I'm about to cause a disturbance in this freshly ploughed field. So wish me luck. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Right, we're about to land, are we? Yeah, we're going to come okay. in and land. Okay. We come in with nice speed, and then like a bird landing on a branch, a couple of just before we touch down, I pull the brakes and. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, yes, um, yes, 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 yes. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I smashed it without smashing it, <laughs> which is brilliant. Easy landing. It's easy landing. Uh. Very good. 